Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural Part 27. So we were actually gonna have Victoria go and research the supernatural but there's really not much point in doing that and I kind of would prefer her to kind of mix with her own a bit and get to know some more vampires. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, this is the Van Gould household and whoa this house is massive holy crap no one's in she's out of the park okay well i guess we can stalk her and go visit the park um okay is this her nope that's a wolf where the hell is emily because i definitely want to get more involved with vampires where is she Emily, come out wherever you are hiding. Where are you? Uh, who's this? These are all werewolves. I do not want to be friends with werewolves. No offense to werewolves or anything, but kind of just don't want to be friends with them. Who's this? Samurai. Um, Crumple Bottom, Rogers, Crumple Bottom. Okay, weird. I don't know where she is. Is it this park? Could she be somewhere completely different? We have quite a lot of parks in the area. Um, the Weatherstone Park, maybe they're around there? I don't know. Doesn't seem to be anybody here. Well, that's kind of annoying. I wanted to visit the Van Gould household. Um, Tate, what I want you to do, mister, is work on your handiness a little bit so why don't you come up here and upgrade this to self-cleaning and upgrade this because that will definitely help him work on his handiness and then I want Faye here to actually become best friends forever with Fuzzball because if she becomes best friends forever then likelihood is we can ask the unicorn to move in with us tonight, hopefully. That is what I am hoping for. We're going to feed it a treat and we're going to brush her. I just want them to become really good friends because hopefully if they do that and if the unicorn appears tonight, then that means we can actually become friends with it, which will be so much fun. Uh, David Musgrave, no David, you're a weirdo, leave us alone, we don't want to go on a date with you. I've said it like a bajillion hundred times, but please just leave us alone. Are they back home yet? I just want to meet the Van Goulds. <gasps> they are, they're in. This is like, this house just screams vampire. If you want to fit in you do not build a mansion like this it's like the gatsby mansion and look at that freaking car it's amazing we're gonna go and visit them they clearly want to show off to everyone that they're vampires like this home could not belong to anyone other than vampires at all we're gonna head on over here because i really want them to become best friends forever Come on, you cuties. I know you can do it. Is he still asleep? He is. Right. Why don't you... Um, praise for being neat. Because that's always a good trait to have, being neat. What is this cat's trait? He's neat. She's neat anyway. I keep calling it a guy. And uh, a lot of you, when I do, are like, It's a girl! And I just always forget that it's a girl. We're going to smoochy it. And we're going to talk to her again. Come on, you two. Just become best friends. Tate, ignore that phone. Ignore call. We don't need to focus on that. He is still researching his alchemy, which is good. Victoria's over here being invited inside, so I think I'll just leave her to it because my main focus is getting this cat to be our friend. It's already our best friend, but we need it to be our best friend forever like this horse is. So we definitely need to do it. Uh, let's um, play chase 
And... Where are you taking it, poor cat? Put it down, Faye. Faye, put the cat down, damn it. And then... Feed it another treat. Does it actually need... How's it feeling? Yeah, you can feed it a treat. Nope, you don't need to use that. <laughs> I am not letting you use it. I just want you to become friends with this damn cat. Come on, cat. Choose this is your best friend. This is all down to the cat right now. Like, the cat chooses us. And I really wanted to. We can make her... We can just do it like that. What the hell? That was well easier than doing all this. I didn't even know you could do that. Harry, why don't you cast the bladder charm and the hygiene charm on your girlfriend? I think in the next part we will actually get these two. Are they even engaged, actually? No, they're just boyfriend and girlfriend. Maybe in this part we'll get them engaged. So they are best friends forever and she's still best friends forever with the horse, which is really good. And Harry... What else do you need, Faye? Do you need hunger? Oh, we may as well just cast that hunger charm as well. We'll do the hunger charm too. And Harry, you may as well do it on yourself. Hygiene. Bladder. And hunger. And then you can go back to researching your alchemy. Faye, how's our little boy doing? He's still asleep, so we'll let him sleep for a while. The cat's just messing around, that's fine. I really want Harry to get like really really good at magic so much. He, um, he should probably go and try and uh, duel with some other witches again because that would be good for him. So he's going to go do that just so he can get a little bit better on his alchemy and Faye, what are you up to? Oh, she's blooming things. Did you just... Did you just kill... Oh, she's crying because she killed it. Faye, it's okay. It's okay. We can bloom it back. It can be bloomed back to life. Is this one dead? No. We're, right, we're gonna weed all of these plants. Um, yeah, just weed all of them and get them back up to how they are meant to be. Harry should really be doing this, but oh well. And we're gonna water all the plants as well. Oops, that was my phone. Sorry about that, guys. And Tate just got to level six of the handiness career. The career? I meant the skill. Um, you should probably take a shower and use this toilet. And he really needs to pee. Oh well. He can pee his pants. It's fine. He's a baby. Doesn't matter. We do really need to teach him stuff though. I'm just so busy focusing on skills and stuff like that that I just forget. I think we're gonna make some friends. You should perform a private reading and you should also um, compliment his home because it's a really nice home. It's freaking huge. It's like massive and ask about his career I just want her to make friends chat with him and um, get to know him a bit they're gonna be friends they're friends now I said they were gonna be friends soon and they are and Faye just got level four Victoria Crimson just gave a bad reading to Aiden. Turns out people don't really care how many times they might inhale and exhale in a given week. Well, unless the number is really low. <laughs> Amazing fortune telling skills right there. Why don't you come and join them in watching TV? And is it? It's almost eight, so we can check for our little unicorn soon. I think we're gonna keep Tate as a either young adult or adult. We definitely need to make another young again potion just so he can have that as a spare. He is still asleep. He is not gonna get any sleep tonight. 
you should snuggle him and put him down on the floor. You can stop researching alchemy. Tate, why did you just change? What the heck? Take a shower. Oh, he already took a shower. No, don't take another shower. Don't. You already took one. <laughs> I didn't realize that you had taken one. I'm sorry, Tate. You should probably grab something to eat, though. Eat some autumn salad. And then I guess you can just watch TV for tonight. We'll just be boring and watch TV. Whilst Victoria's still out making friends. She's looking after her garden until we can see if the unicorns arrived. I really want it to be here. I really want it to be our friend. Ooh, are there any like glow things out that aren't? Darn it. Creepy woman by the lake who's turning into a werewolf. She's really creepy. I don't like it. Nope, there's no glow flies out or fireflies. There's just beetles, which we do not need. I'm not interested in your beetles. Not in the slightest. And it is 8pm, so we're going to go into map view. Come on, unicorn. Please arrive. I've missed you these past couple of days. Is it over here? <gasps> it is! Guys, we can maybe do it. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Come on, Faye. Get over here. We are going to let it sniff our hand. We're going to feed it a treat. And we are going to pet it. Hopefully it'll let us. Fingers crossed on this one, guys. I'm literally crossing everything right now because I really want it to move in with us. Like, a ridiculous amount. Uh, I think we'll travel via Llama because... Actually, no. Just get over here. Where's it gone? Right. Let it sniff your hand and feed it a treat and then pet it. You can stop watering your flowers. Just get over here. I really want to do it. Victoria's still watching TV. Oh, she really needs to drink something. Good job we're in a house filled with vampires because we can just go over to the fridge and have a quick meal of plasma juice. Hell yes. And, oh, she can cuddle. What? You don't even know her that well. I don't think she'd be a fan of you cuddling her. <laughs> We are going to perform a private reading and we should compliment her home. Oh, he is now flirting with us too. Both the brothers are flirting with us. Victoria is behaving inappropriately. We literally didn't do anything. We went to get juice, plasma juice, because we're going to die without it. So... F you! We're not doing anything inappropriately. We're gonna use the bathroom. Right, let's go see how Faye's getting on with this unicorn! Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Come on, unicorn. You better love us. I swear, if you don't love me, I'm gonna get real, real, real depressed. No, it doesn't want us. We're gonna let it sniff our hand again. What's wrong with it? With, and we're going to feed it another treat. I don't know if it'll take it. Oh, oh it's good. sniffing us. Hi there. <laughs> Hi. Yep, we're here. Same person. We're going to rub its neck. Hopefully it'll let us rub its neck. I just want you to move in. That is all I want. And we're going to let it sniff our hand again and rub its neck again. We're just doing the things that it wants us to do. That it allows us to do. <gasps> Invite it to join our household. Do it. Come on, unicorn. What? Invite it to join our household. It likes us. It keeps sniffing us. Come on. I want to take a screenshot. <gasps> this is it, guys. I don't know if it's going to work, but we can hope. We can live in hope. Oh, please work. I just really want you to move in with us. Like, a lot. Like, I'm getting needy now. The nine-year-old girl in me is getting really excited. <gasps> no? What? First prove to me that you are friend of all creatures. Only then will I consider your offer. What? But we are. 
We're best friends forever with a horse and a cat. Do we have to be best friends forever with a human too? Because that's annoying. Maybe we should try being best friends forever with our son. Maybe that would work. <laughs> I don't know if it would or not, but hopefully it would. Um, Faye, why don't you change his dirty diaper and then you can also feed him on the floor. She is super tired though, so she's probably going to have to go to bed soon. Oh, is Victoria still over here? I'm sorry, Victoria. I completely forgot you were still over here. Damn, that's so annoying. I thought we were going to have a unicorn. Because I... I'm fairly sure I read that you have to only be best friends forever with two creatures. And we have a horse and a cat. But you guys should let me know if I'm right on that one or not. Because I honestly have never had a unicorn in our household. So I'm not too sure. But you guys should definitely let me know what the issue is. Um, we are going to ask about her alma mater. And make a silly face. And we're going to... Compliment her pro propriety and discuss matters of etiquette. Have you seen this house? They look like they would find matters of etiquette very important. Whoa, she has a degree in science and medicine. Holy crap. This family is so smart. Did, did she just... Was she just flirting with us? I swear she was. I swear she just like flirted with us. I don't know. She sounded like she did. We're gonna tell her a joke. And we're gonna perform a private reading. And do, do, do. what else should we do? We're gonna ask about her career. Oh, she doesn't want her po she doesn't want her fortune told. Okay, fair. We're gonna apologize to you. I respect your opinion, you know, some people just don't like that kind of stuff. Uh, what should we do? We are going to discuss matters of etiquette and tell another joke. She is currently unemployed. Oh, well, we aren't. That shuts down that conversation right there and then. We're going to chat for a bit. I just want them to be friends. That's all I want. I'm going to tell a funny story and show a funny video too. How is everyone at home? He did not have his nappy changed. He is not feeling hygienic right now. Tate, you should be in bed. Holy shoot. Go and sleep. He has work tomorrow really early. He starts at like 7am. Jeez, I thought he was already asleep. Sorry, Tate. Do you forgive me? I hope you do. <laughs> He's not gonna like me in the morning though. He's gonna freaking hate me. He's like, oh, you sent me to bed so late and now I have to get up so early. I'm really disappointed about the, the, um, the unicorn though. I thought he was gonna be our friend in this part and move in with us, but apparently not. But yeah, as I said, you guys should definitely leave a comment of what I'm doing wrong, because I I really want this unicorn, and I know so many of you really want it too, and I just want to know how to do it. I think we have to basically become best friends forever with a human as well. Um, she's currently only best friends with her son, so we should probably try and get them to be best friends forever. How is she feeling? Oh, you know what? You don't need to sleep. Tonight, we're going to do an all-nighter. We're going to just focus on our son. We are going to change his diaper. And we are also going to toss him in the air and tickle him. And Victoria just befriended a vampire. Okay, cool. So she's our friend too. Victoria, you can head home because she's so sleepy, bless her. She can definitely just go to bed once she's back. Whilst I work on these two relationships, because I want a best friend forever. Um, what should we do? I think we should snuggle him. Oh, cute. They're so cute. No, look at them. She's so adorable with him. I love Faye. She has to be one of my favourite sims ever. 
They're like so cute. They're both fairies and they're just so adorable. I can't wait to see what he's like when he ages up. He's going to be such a heartbreaker, I swear. I'm fairly sure he's going to be adorable. We're going to tickle him. Harry, why are you awake? Holy crap. No, go back to bed. Just go and sleep. You can carry on sleeping. There's not really much else you can do. We're going to teach him to walk. Please be our best friend forever. I just want to be your best friend, Thorn. <laughs> Listen to your mother and be our best friend. Right now. And where's Victoria? Is she on her way home? She is just outside, which is good. Please be our best friend. Baby. I need you to be our best friend. Oh wow, he's got a lot to do to learn to walk. That is a lot of work. We're going to have to work on this right before he ages up. How long does he actually have? He has two days until he ages up. So this is something we definitely need to get done. Like right now. Oh look, he took his first steps. That's adorable. I love the toddlers in this game. It's something I miss so much in The Sims 4. So, so much. But I think I'm going to end this part here, guys. That's all I really have time to record because I'm on a schedule right now. So I hope you all enjoyed this part. I'm so sorry that we didn't manage to move the unicorn in with us. But as I said, you should definitely, if you've had a unicorn before, I don't want to cheat. But I think in the end, I might if we can't get it to move in with us legitimately. Um, and I think off screen, we will definitely, I well, I will definitely try and find the fireflies so we can turn James or whatever his name is into a genie. And one more thing to mention, I also am planning on getting them engaged probably in the next part and then we might have the wedding in the part after that or a few parts after that but you'll just have to wait and see. So all you um, Faye and Harry shippers, I don't know what their ship name is, you guys came up with one and I can't really remember it. I think it was Fairy because it sounded like fairy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that will definitely be coming up soon as well because I know so many of you really want them to get married. So that will happen and he'll be like a little page boy and stuff. It'll be really cute. But I hope you all enjoyed this part and if you did, please do give it a big thumbs up because it lets me know that you guys are looking forward to the next part and that's an awesome feeling and it just makes me want to record like 24 seven for you guys. So thank you all so much for watching and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.